All right, kia ora everyone. It's Nathan Rose from Cap Gemini here in beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. You may have seen a video that I put out earlier today showing ChatGPT running in a model-driven app and interacting with Dataverse to suggest some marketing tweets. I had a few issues with the demo and I'm happy to report that I've got it working and I'll take you through what I did to fix it. So the first issue I had was that the the API to ChatGPT was throwing an error when I ran it in the context of the model-driven app. It was working in the test canvas for my, my custom page, but not in the model-driven app. I'm not 100% sure of what the issue was, but I did have the connection hooked up to a few, to the same custom page across a couple of apps. So I cleaned that up and it seems to be working now. So if you'll recall, I've got products that have a description, and I'm going to use the copy and the hashtags function to split this out. So I've got my gallery here of products. I'm going to quickly copy the description. I'm going to paste it here. So that's the copy and paste function again. You can see that the hashtags function has split out the hashtags from that product description. And now I want to go and start generating some tweets based on this hashtag as well as the product comment. So let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and populate my query here for ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT. So it's going to ask for a suggested tweet, and you can see ChatGPT has gotten back to us. So same way it worked this morning in the test canvas, only this time it's working in the model-driven app itself. Now the second issue I had was that if I get a tweet that I really like, I'd like to send this to the product record and populate this chat GPT column that I've got in on my table. And the solution was actually really simple. So I've got this button here called save to Dataverse. Let's go ahead and do that. Come and refresh my record. And you can see that our tweet from chat GPT in the custom page is now saved against the row in Dataverse. So we'll come back here into the test canvas. It was actually surprisingly easy. All I needed to do was add a button to each, uh, each row in my gallery to send the response from ChatGPT. So that's how I solved the issues in the demo this morning. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.